Samsung recently introduced its AK QLED lineup of televisions for 2020. All the 411 coming up. Hi everyone, Bill from Build a Technology Reviewer, where I make technology related content. If you're new here, welcome and consider hitting the subscribe button so you don't miss any future content. With that, let's begin. CES 2020 is in the books and a mind boggling amount of new technology was introduced to us. Now friend of the channel and co-host on my live stream on Build a Drone Reviewer channel, Mr. Marcus Crawford attended CES 2020. Marcus told me that one of the biggest displays out there was Samsung. I believe he described it as a building within a building. He said it was a massive display with unbelievable technology. Now, 8K seems to be on the forefront of a lot of tech companies, including drones, with Autel announcing their Evo 2 with an 8K camera. Now, getting video uploaded is one hurdle. The other one is playback. So with that, I thought I'd take a look at Samsung's new lineup of 8K QLEDs for 2020. Now, in 2020, Samsung will have two different 8K QLED models. They'll have the Q800T and the flagship, which is the Q950. It will be the Q950S in the United States and the Q950TS in Europe. Let's go ahead and take a look at the details of the flagship model from Samsung. One of the biggest trends in TV over the last few years in the minds of consumer has been bigger TVs. And as TVs are reaching what we would call super big size, 75 inches, 85 inches, 88, 98 inches, resolution becomes really important. So the benefit of 8K today is all based on the TV's ability to upscale. Whether you're watching 4K from a streaming service, playing video games, uh, or watching just regular TV, using our new deep learning neural network processor, we have the ability to take lower resolution formats and scale them up to fill 33 million pixels worth of an 8K screen. So aside from how amazing the Q950 looks when it's turned on, you'll also notice its design. Now you're looking at over 99% picture, really creating a more immersive viewing experience for you as the viewer. We've added in speakers into the upper corners of the TV as well as into the sides to give a more dynamic sound experience when you're using the internal audio system. Now there's also the ability to use a new technology called Samsung Symphony, where I can not only use the internal audio in the TV, but also also have the advantage of connecting to a sound bar and having those speakers in that dynamic range as well. All of these features are definitely something worthy of a flagship status of the television set. Currently there are no prices available for the 2020 models, so what I thought I would do would be to go ahead and go over the comparable 2019 models throw them up on the screen with their current prices. Now, the, the, it's what's known as the Q900 series. The 65 inch Q900 QLED is $3,499. The 75 inch Q900 QLED is $4,999. The 85 inch Q900 QLED is $14,999. So I wanted to go ahead and share a few thoughts on this. There's no question this technology is absolutely incredible. Now using layers of AI to produce images that are mind boggling and an immersive sound system is gonna make the Samsung Q950 AK QLED the TV to own in 2020. Unfortunately, even based on 2019 prices, it'll be out of reach for a majority of consumers. Now, coupled with the fact that the broadband providers aren't quite up to speed yet to handling AK, I personally see it having a limited use. But as advances come and AK becomes more commonplace, prices will drop. Question is when. Question of the day. What do you think of Samsung's new QLED AK television? Let me know in the comments section below. Thanks so much for watching and remember, it's a great day for technology.